All right. Well, we have been reporting about a national baby formula shortage, leaving store shelves empty. The federal government has stepped up to help, but it could be a slow process. And that shortage has forced some parents to get creative with feeding their infant children. But doctors are warning against making their own or diluting formula to make supplies last longer. So joining us now is Dr. Jared Thompson, a pediatrician with St. Alphonsus. Dr. Thompson, thank you so much for joining us here. Yeah, thank you. So first of all, you know, we've been seeing this baby formula shortage force parents to get creative, as we mentioned, but it's important not for them to make their own formula, right? Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, that's correct. It's It's been so heartbreaking to see parents are just so desperate. Um, that I've seen a lot of social media videos of families making their own formula. This can be um, actually really harmful to your baby. We have seen... Um, we have seen a few babies hospitalized because of this. Um, our babies, they have very specific needs as far as protein, calories, and electrolytes. And uh, um, there can be health consequences if that's not followed. And there can also be risk for, uh, for contamination as these formulas have to be made in a sterile environment. Mm. You mentioned those risks um, if they're making their own formula, but what are the risks or concerns um, when it comes to a prolonged shortage that we're seeing? I know this has been so stressful for a lot of parents. I think some some things that we need to um, to watch out for during this during this shortage uh, when our kids are dealing with this is one, uh, make sure that we don't water down the formula. Babies can't make adjustments in the in their water that they take. Watering it down too much can cause some sodium problems and can be quite dangerous, uh, requiring babies to be hospitalized. Number two, no cow's milk before one years old. Their digestive system is not ready uh, for that and they can also mm. cause some, some iron deficiency. Um, number three, no homemade formulas that we've touched on. And then number four, make sure they still follow the expiration date on those, on those formulas. So then what are the safe alternatives? Are, are there any for parents right now? There are. You, most parents will, will recognize the names of Infamil and Similac. But I want to let you know that store brands are, um, are just as good. Uh, they're just as equal. And so trying to find those, what we call those more generic uh, versions are, are just as fine as those other ones. It may be helpful to um, ask family members uh, to look for formula samples. Um, if you do see formula on the shelf, I know we're so tempted and so desperate to just take everything. We ask that you buy for about the next 10 days to two weeks of things that you need to prevent more shortage. Uh, it may also be helpful to check, um, check smaller stores or check with your pediatrician. All right. A lot of good advice there. Dr. Thompson, thank you so much for joining us here today on the News at 4. Thank you so much.